Hey there, David so first. Today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can test and diagnose problems with your MAF sensor using a basic multimeter. So the next thing you want to do is obviously find your uh, MAF sensor and its connector. Now, most of the time your MAF sensor is located somewhere between your uh, air filter box and your throttle body. And on this car, which is a 2001 F-150 with a 4.2 liter, the MAF sensor is located underneath this side of the air filter uh, housing. And I can't really get a sh good shot at it, but um, we got the next best thing, which is all we need really, and it's its connector. So very similar to the throttle position sensor uh, testing procedure, we're going to have to find our wires, see which one is for what. And again, similar to the throttle position sensor, we got, we're going to have a constant voltage supply from the ECU. Then you're going to have a ground wire and a signal wire, which is uh, the wire that sends the voltage from your, uh, from your uh, MAF sensor back to the ECU. So what we're going to do next is to turn our key to the on position without turning the engine on. There we go. Next we'll remove our connector. Next we get our multimeter, turn it on and put our settings on 20 DC volts. Next we'll grab our black test lead and connect it to battery ground. Make sure you get a good connection. Use clamps if you have to. Alright, next we want to get our test lead and start testing these uh, pins on the harness side. The harness side being the side that's not coming from your MAF sensor and it's coming uh, from your ECU. And uh, we're going to be touching these pins and the one that gives us any voltage, either 5 or 12 volts, we're going to know that's our uh, voltage supply wire or our constant. Alright, that's top right, bottom right, bottom left. And here we go, we got 12 volts on the bottom left pin. So next you want to look at the back of the connector and write down which wire is your constant wire. So next we're going to have to find our uh, ground wires. Now this uh, harness again has two ground wires. One is going to be uh, your constant ground and the other one is going to be your sensor ground. Now in order to find your, your ground wires, we're going to have to turn this to ohm settings and the setting I'm going to use it is the, this last setting where we're going to not only get a reading, but also hear a beep when we have a ground. You don't want to test the, you know, the resistance of a charged circuit, which in our case is going to be our constant wire, our lo lower le left pin. So in order to make sure this doesn't touch that, because this is also slippery when you're testing these pins, it's going to slip and touch the pin. We're just going to go ahead and turn off the car and remove the key. Then we're going to test uh, the, the other pins for uh, resistance to ground. And the key is out. So the right the bottom one has infinity resistance. In other words, it's not a ground wire. Top right one is not either. And left top one is our ground wire. We've identified two pins in this harness. The bottom left one is going to be our constant supply voltage wire. The top left one is our constant ground wire. And the other two, one of them is going to be our signal voltage uh, wire, that's the signal wire that goes that sends uh, the voltage from your uh, MAF sensor to your ECU and the other one's going to have to be the ground signal wire. Alright, so next it's time to uh, back probe the two remaining wires and measure our voltage reading from our MAF sensor during uh, engine operation. So obviously you want to reconnect your, uh, the connector from the harness side to the connector for your uh, MAF sensor and then as you can see I got two pepper clips jammed in the back of these the remaining two wires so next we're going to go turn on the engine then we're going to, I'm going to attach my uh, test leads to these two paper clips and then we're going to measure our voltage and also don't forget to turn the settings back to voltage and 20 volts here we go you always want to make sure that these two don't touch either okay Alright, so we got 1.03 volts, which is, I guess, normal for the engine at idle. Now, what you don't want to see is that this thing fluctuating a lot at idle. If this is fluctuating by more than, let's say, 0.2 or 3 volts at idle, then you could potentially have a problem with your mass sensor. So what we're going to do next is to gradually raise the RPM by opening the throttle plate. And then we're going to look for this to move up gradually. Again, you don't want it to see it jump. Uh, you don't want to see it uh, jump quite a lot or uh, decrease. You just want to see a gradual steady increase in the amount of voltage output from your MAF sensor.
As you saw, we, uh, we had a good map sensor on this. And as I as expected, since there's no problems on this car, but this is basically what you want to look for. Again, you don't want to see this thing spike or jump. Or you just want to see a gradual increase as you as the RPM goes up and a gradual decrease and as you let off the throttle plate. All right, and that's all there is to it. But if you're wondering, this multimeter doesn't really cost a lot of money. I mean, it looks big and expensive, but it's only about 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. So if, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you like to tackle projects on the weekends, you can only spend 10 bucks and you can diagnose a lot of different problems on your car with just this basic multimeter. Okay, so with that said, hope this video helps you out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.